Now, Jermaine Farrell with WFXR Sports. Ah, uh, yes, good evening, everyone. I'm Jermaine Farrell, hoping your New Year's Eve is wonderful and blessed. You know, 2021, we are on the last day of the year. And, of course, this year has been an interesting year for local sports, to say the least. Let's take a look back at the year of 2021 in the local sports scene. To play or not to play, that was the big theme at the start of 2021. COVID pushed the high school athletic calendar back with all state titles for the 2020-2021 school year being contested on home courts and not neutral sites. Back when I was saying to play or not to play when it came to winter sports, the VHSL left it up to each school district on whether to play or not. Most school districts decided to play a district-only schedule in all sports. As for the teams that played, they were only allowed to play a limited schedule. And when it came to high school basketball in late February, the Perry McClure boys team won the Class 1 title, beating Alta Vista. It was the first state title in boys hoops for the Fighting Blues. Perry McClure also repeated as Class 2 boys indoor track champs, winning by two points over Alta Vista. The Glenver girls won the Class 2 girls indoor track title. Also in February, the 2020 high school football season kicked off as the 2020 fall season was pushed to spring 2021. There was a six game regular season and the playoffs only took the top four teams in each region, cutting the playoffs in half. Salem won the class four title, the school's 10th state title, while Appomattox repeated as class two champs and their fifth overall. When the fall 2021 season rolled around for the first time in a long time, we didn't have a local team win a state title. In golf, Floyd County won the class two title and George Wythe won in class one. In the volleyball, the spring season, Rustburg won the Class 3 state title. They would repeat in the fall. Auburn in Class 1 turned to double play, winning in the spring and fall. Class 2 had local teams winning a spring and fall title with Giles taking the title in the spring and Glenver winning it all in the fall. On the spring sports, the local area took home four titles in softball. Amherst won it in Class 4, Rustburg in Class 3, Appomattox in Class 2, and Auburn in Class 1. Auburn also won the Class 1 boys title. And Eastern Montgomery won the girls' Class 1 soccer title, the first state title in any sport for the Mustangs. Auburn won the Class 1 boys' outdoor track title, and Blacksburg won the Class 4 tennis title. In the Class 3 ranks, K-Spring Knights won another state title in cheer. On to colleges in men's hoops, Virginia Tech, Liberty, and Virginia Tech all qualified for the NCAA tournament. COVID forced the entire men's tournament to be played in Indianapolis. The women's tournament was played in San Antonio, and the Virginia Tech Hokies qualified for the NCAA women's tournament for the first time in more than a decade. The Liberty Flames softball and baseball teams both qualified for the NCAA tournament. And speaking of softball, the James Madison Dukes were the story of the 2021 year as Odyssey Alexander pitched the Dukes to the Women's College World Series. The VMI Cadets also played football in the spring season. They won the Southern Conference for the first time in decades. They also qualified for the FCS playoffs for the first time. In November, the Liberty Flames field hockey team made it to the NCAA title game where they lost in a heartbreaker. It was the Flames' first ever NCAA title game in any sport. In the NCAA Division III men's soccer ranks, Washington and Lee advanced to their first ever Final Four, losing in the national semifinals. The college football season in the fall got back to normal as fans were back and the excitement was back. Optimism was high at Virginia Tech after the Hokies got off to a 2-0 start. Tech would struggle as Tech. They would go on a 2-5 record in the middle of the season. And in November, Virginia Tech decided to make a head coaching change by firing Justin Fuente after six seasons and hiring former Virginia Tech grad assistant and Penn State defensive coordinator Brent Pry. Under interim coach J.C. Price, Tech would win two of their last three games and become bowl eligible, including a win over Virginia in the Commonwealth Clash. Tech would lose in the pinstripe bowl to Maryland 54-10. It was Virginia Tech's worst bowl loss and worst loss since 1982. UVA got off to a 6-2 start on the gridiron, but four straight losses at the end of the season ended their regular season at 6-6. Six six. The biggest surprise was Bronco Mendenhall stepping down as head coach at the end of the season. UVA was set to play in the Fenway Bowl, but COVID on the Virginia football team forced him to bow out of the game. The Liberty Flames won their third straight bowl game, the first team to win three straight bowl games as their first three years as an FBS team. And after nearly a two-year absence, the Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs were back in action after COVID impacted their season. 
With Major League Baseball restructuring minor league baseball, the Carolina League is now history. As the Salem Red Sox and the Lynchburg Hillcats, they were moved to low A. The Appalachian League is now a collegiate wood bat league sponsored by Major League Baseball with the Pulaski River Turtles and the Danville Otterbots, the new entries. We here at the WFXR sports team enjoyed covering all these local stories from 2021, and we look forward to a fun and prosperous 2022. And that is sports. I'm Jermaine Farrell, WFXR Sports. All right, and we have.